About 1,000 demonstrators have descended on Parliament House in Canberra to demand the government review its planned deportation of a Sydney-based sheikh. The Iranian-born Sheikh Mansour Lahai has lived in Australia for 16 years but has been ordered to leave the country by the end of June after two adverse security declarations from ASIO. The lawyer for the Muslim leader says it's in direct violation of a UN order to delay his deportation. A passionate protest on the lawns outside Parliament today. Muslims and Christians, men, women and children came in support of Sheikh Mansour Lagai. He's lived in Australia for 16 years but now faces deportation back to his native Iran. ASIO's declared him a security threat. He's asking the United Nations to intervene to review ASIO's advice and the government's decision to deport him. We are not asking them to put aside the security assessment. All what we are asking is to let the United Nations assess the, uh, the assessment of ASIO and look at the documents and give a fair go. Demonstrators pray the government will listen. Many believe the Sheikh to be a man of peace who hasn't been given a fair trial. Give Sheikh Mansour Lukai a fair go. All we're asking is basic human rights and I think that's by any means the shrugging thing to do. I wish that Mr. Rudd will change his mind and give him the opportunity to prove how loyal citizen he is. I think he needs to sit down and talk to him and get an idea of what type of person he is um, and hear his side of the story and then base a decision. Sheikh Lagai says he's exhausted all his legal options and today's protest is one final bid for the government to intervene. He fears that if it's unsuccessful, he'll be deported at the end of June. His lawyer says the planned deportation is a violation of Australia's obligations under international human rights law. He's been asked to respond to allegations which he's never seen or, or never heard of. Uh, and in human rights terms, under international law, that's a clear violation of the right to a fair hearing. Christian leaders say the Sheikh's moderate teachings have helped bridge the religious divide. You pull him out, it creates a vacuum. Who knows going to fill that? But the last thing we want is a group of disaffected people latching on to uh, some uh, radical rat bag. Yeah, look, there's plenty around who could fill the vacuum. The government's remaining firm. The immigration minister, Chris Evans, said in his ruling, the fact remains that Sheikh Lagai is the subject of an adverse security assessment. Mr. Evans said he acted in the national interest because national security must always be paramount. But Dr. Lagai says he will comply with a deportation order. Protesters say they're praying for understanding from the prime minister and compassion from their god. Leroy R. Ben, World News, Australia. Are you pleased with the outcome of the, uh, the meeting? Can you tell us a bit about it? Uh, well, this meeting basically was to deliver the open letter that the community has prepared to raise their voice to the High Commissioner of the United Nations. Uh, they received the letter, we had some legal questions that they answered and basically are forwarding it to the, the head office in Geneva. And is this your last resort to stay in Australia? It seems so. Uh, How confident that are you that the UN may help in your cause? Uh, it seems that they are, they, they are going to do their very best and the statement of the community today is very clear. More than 1,000 people they are making their way coming from Sydney, Melbourne, and even I was just told that the family flew from Perth to come all the way to, to Canberra. I think that makes a big statement. And the government has uh, refused to intervene in your case. Uh, you're going to hand a similar letter to the Prime Minister. Do you hope that he will uh, intervene in your case? We can only hope, yes. Have you been given any sort of uh, reason for the de deportation itself uh, in any sort of clear form from any of the authorities? 
As far as I believe the authorities are concerned, uh, I should be preparing myself to depart Australia on, by the 28th of June. Do you Unless I might advise otherwise. Do you hope that some resolution can come about that you may stay with your family? Very much so. Uh, I really hope that this will happen in the next few weeks. Are you disappointed with the Australian government that they haven't come to your, to your help? Not only myself, many members of the community, community at large actually is very much disappointed that uh, their government is putting them down by defying the United Nations Intermeasures request. And we hope that they change their, their decision and their stand.